Uh, hi guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to expand on where we left off last time. Uh, this is where we stopped. Uh, we just created the um, kick drum uh, and the clap. So. Yeah. So this is what we had, but um, we want to add the piano, okay? So uh, one reason you want to add the piano is sometimes you need that information for which edge um, or which notes are being hit so that you can um, have something like this. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. For the actual piano, we need to know which chords are being hit so that um, it's a bit more realistic, okay? So this video will cover how to make chords. Okay, the first thing we would want to do is um, we want to figure out um, which chords the song um, by Otis McDonald is, um, is using. Okay, I'm not a musical guy and uh, I don't know much music theory. So if you're like me and uh, you don't know a lot of musical theory, um, you'd still be fine. Okay, just follow what I do. So um, with this song... We want to go ahead and search for it here on Google and then attach chords, okay, to the search. You'll find um, two interesting sites. The first is Codify and then the next is uh, Code U. Um, we want to use Codify because this one is paid, so we want to use Codify. Um, what these apps will do, um, they'll tell you which chords um, this song is using, okay? So Everfold Part 2, if you play it, it tells you that it uses um, G minor, G minor 7. Um, we'll get to that uh, in a bit, okay? So for now, just stop here. And then let's go back to the door, which in my case is Apple Studio. So I'm going to add, uh, let's see, I'm going to add an Apple keys here. And then set it to playing piano. So I'm just going to to use this to preview if my uh, keys are in place, okay? If I'm placing the correct notes. Cool. And then I'm going to use this other plugin because it has this um, circle of fifths, which helps us to know which notes are in a, in a chord. For now, just don't worry about what it is. Specifically, I'll get back to it after I show you what this does and how it relates to it okay cool so we have our kick drum pattern and another kick drum pattern so i'm going to add another pattern here and then i'm just going to call it my piano uh, one okay this will be my pattern for making the piano and i'm going to place this pattern right here cool so now we come back to um butterfly so what Codify does is if you play it, it will tell you which chords are playing at that particular time. So if you press play. Have you ever fell? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. So um, right off the bat, it's telling us that the first chord that's playing in the piano or most of the song is uh, G minor, okay? For me, I don't know what G minor is, so I have this uh, plugin to help me figure out what G minor is, okay? So, with this um, plugin, if you uh, press this, uh, the circle of fifths, uh, by length, that's what it's called, the circle of fifths will, um, will pop up, and uh, we are looking for G minor, which is um, G M, G with a small M, right here. So this is the chord uh, that's playing in the song, okay? It's G minor. So if you take this chord and drag it right into our piano, right here, and then let's play this chord along with our audio file and uh, let's listen. Okay. Um, you can hear that it's not off key, but it's it needs to play along with the kick. So let's let's try it again. But this is good. This shows that uh, we have the correct chord. So I'm going to edit the chord here. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of this lower note. It's a G, so we still have a G here, so that's fine if you can get rid of this um, bass note. So we only have this chord with uh, three notes. So we want to match this chord, which is our G minor, with, uh, with the kicks, okay? So I'm going to shorten it, and then I'm going to listen, and then place the notes where they're supposed to go. Okay. I'm going to copy paste and then let's try. Again. Okay, I think that's okay. And then I'm going to copy paste again. Nope. Okay. Okay, that's that's correct. That seems to work. Uh, just to double check, kick, kick. I think we need a note right here. That's okay, cool. This is the chord. It's still the same chord, it's just that we are playing it like this, okay? I'll make this one short, so. Okay, we have the first chord, but I can sense, um, I can hear that at some point here the chord changes. Let's, let me listen. So, we go back to here and then... Oh, uh, the song starts... Yeah. So, let's try and repeat this and then let's listen to it. What happens? So, uh. Uh. so copy paste. It seems like we still have. This. So this is still the same chord, but I can sense that this last one is off key, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, shift this by an octave, okay? So I took the D4 and then I changed it to a D5. So basically it's still the G minor, it's just that I transposed or um, uh, I changed this to a D5 instead of a D4, but it's still a D. So let's listen if it fits. Yeah, that sounds like it fits. Uh. Yeah. yeah, no, that, that fits. Um, if you have a better ear than me, you'll go ahead and, uh, and correct it. But I just wanted to show you this little trick. That's... Uh. Yeah, um, for the second one, okay, let's make this unique. I can hear there's, there's a little bit of a change. Let's make this a unique pattern. And then I'm going to go into this pattern and then go back here because it's G minor 7. So. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So for the second one, we need to use G minor 7. So if you go back to the uh, easy keys here, you can click here and then switch to, to a G minor 7. So you, to make a G minor 7, you have G minor, and then you click the 7 here. This will create a G minor 7. So this is G minor without the 7, and then G minor 7. You can see that the, the minor 7 adds an, um, it adds an F here, right here. So we need to include this on the third bar from the looks of things. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it here. And then cut it so that I can paste it into my actual piano. So let's hear how this sounds. One, two, three on my third bar. One, two, three. <laughs> This needs to go 
here, we replace this once. So our entire chord replaces the one that was here. And then uh, let's shorten it so that it matches. Um, we don't need this one. Uh, four notes. I'm going to get rid of this one so that we only play three notes. But for now, let's just listen to it and then we'll modify it after. This is this is uh, G minor seven. That's why now it sounds much better than than uh, than the first one. The first one, uh, the first piano, doesn't have the G minor seven. The second one has the G minor seven. Uh -huh. yeah. So you can hear that it kind of fits. Uh, and uh, this is where I got the chords. So from uh, codify. So if you keep just following up. Uh, Following along with this song, you'll be able to make all the chords for this song and uh, export the MIDI into Unreal Engine and then add it. Uh. So uh, that's, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Um, it's a bit more advanced than the first one, but um, I think if you're already used to a door, this will be um, an easy thing to do, especially, um, especially given this um this tool right here um on my next video i'll cover how to use ai tools um that try and make the midi midi file for you they're not as good but i think um they'll be able to um make um, a decent midi file that you can use in unreal engine